Hey guys, it is Wednesday. <laughs> Two weeks since really I've talked to you guys because I got so sick from my kids last week that I have not done anything in a full week. Like I think I got 200 steps on Sunday, <laughs> just like stand on my couch. So I missed my 15 miler. <clears throat> I still have like this nastiness, but I'm gonna go out right now and try to do a very slow three. Like run a minute, walk a minute, and just try to see if I can get it done. <clears throat> because my goal, sorry, is Thursday, tomorrow, to do my six. Friday after I train my boot camp to do my 15 because I have to go to a wedding. I get to go to a wedding, my best friend's wedding, on Sunday in Seattle. So I'm flying out, coming back. Then the weekend after is my mother-in-law's wedding where we have to leave on Friday, which is also the week everyone's running 17. So that Friday, I'm gonna also have to run 17 in the morning and just get that done. Otherwise, I might lose my mind, <laughs> which I know it's okay. Sometimes these things happen, but for my peace of mind, I'm gonna try to see how I feel to get that done. Just nice and easy, nice and slow. Today, I'm gonna try this Huma um, gel, and <clears throat> it is the Cafe Mocha flavor, and something I've noticed already is that it has five grams of protein. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think it's chia seed based. Um, so I will try this in just a minute and tell you how it is, but I just wanted to get moving, get out there. Man, the FOMO, when you see everybody else running and you're stuck at home, sucks. <laughs> so anyway, I am noticing it is a lot darker already. Um, we're only the first week of October, so I might have to get one of those light up things for my 7 a.m. runs but anyway okay here we go I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt my first run back not feeling super great but I'm gonna take a mucinex later too <laughs> um okay guys I will check in in a second when I open this okay so also something I totally did not think about because it kind of had like a jelly texture I think I just in my race to get out the door assumed it had hydration in it. It does not. I do not have water. So make sure you take this with water. Um, but you know, you live, you learn. Oh. I mean, it's not bad. I don't love it. It's okay. I think it tastes a little chalky. I'll probably stick to my goo cold brew. Okay guys, so first run in a week. I'm going slow, I'm kind of congested. I always say, neck down, don't run. Neck up, you're fine. But I feel like, feel somewhat okay. I gotta get my six done tomorrow, 15 on Friday. So I'm doing three today, very slow. I just took my intervals down to one minute run 30 second walk uh trying this it's okay it's sort of it does it tastes like um like thicker than applesauce and more sweet but it's like the mocha flavor which is pretty good it's just a little chalky um but it has 25 grams of carbohydrates five of those from fiber so remember if you get a little tummy problem fiber, you should probably kind of stick away from that. And five grams of protein and lots of caffeine. Hey, good morning. It is Thursday morning and it is way too dark outside for me to go start my run. So I'm going to do a little bit of it inside um, and then finish the rest outside. I have a salted, no, pineapple goo for this morning. Uh, no caffeine and I haven't had anything to eat. So I'm just going to have that now and then I should be good for the run. And then I'm gonna make sure I have a really good breakfast because 15 tomorrow. So you just don't want that like chain reaction of not feeling enough um, to affect your long run. But um, I have some questions from my Instagram that I'm gonna answer on my stories. And then I'm gonna put them in here. Full honesty, they're probably gonna look better than this video right now because 
at least with Instagram, you can do a little side swipe and have the filter on <laughs> when it's this early in the morning. <laughs> anyway, okay, so uh, yeah, I will check in with you guys later. Um, hope you guys are having a great week, and yeah. Good morning, on my sixth mile. Run starting inside because it's way too dark and I don't have any sort of like light reflective stuff. Um, I don't know, honestly. I'm sorry. I think John Wayne is closer if I had to guess though. And um, I've never flown to Disneyland. I've only driven. Um, I would assume, I think they do have shuttles. I've heard, depending on who you're going through for travel. And then also I think Uber is always like the easiest, but definitely check out John Wayne. So I've been a personal trainer now for almost 13 years. I've owned my own business. Um, just so you guys know, because I know sometimes it just seems like all I talk about is running, but I do. My mostly 90% is personal training in person, online. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Um, I've thought about that a lot lately. And it's always like a mix of like, I would love to be a midwife. I would love to be an endocrinologist if I had like endless time and money go back to school um but yeah something along those lines something along like fertility hormones babies that kind of thing okay um number one have fun do not leave anything on the course and usually you mean that by running your best race but I always mean that for run Disney as don't avoid stops just because you don't think you should be stopping like if you see a character, if you see a spot that you really want a picture, you're gonna regret not taking it. Enjoy it, get your money's worth out of that course, you know? Um, have so much fun and just soak it in. And then when they tell you to start in your corral, have a moment where you don't have your headphones in. It gets really quiet and everyone starts their race and you can still hear the fireworks going off and the announcers in the background and just like take it in because you'll never have your first run Disney race back. Yeah, so it's all on a website, an app called True Coach. So there's a video linked to each exercise um, and underneath there's instructions with the sets and the reps and then you can enter in comments, questions, messages, form check videos, things like that. Um, and then we have monthly Zooms and just all kinds of support like that. So it loosely follows Jeff Galloway in the sense that you're gonna be hitting those longer distances around that same time, but we're adding in um, speed workouts and things like that. So, um, you know, it just depends on the week. There could be hills or tempos or race pace, miles, strides, all kinds of things. And in a more practical response, bring your own fuel because you just never know. Get on the first bus, um, make sure you pack clothes for if it's too hot or too warm or raining um, always bring more than one pair of shoes and bring way more socks than you think you need just in case um, but be prepared for all weather and always pack your patience because there could be traffic jams or people that might be a little grumpy but those are a little bit more practical uh, things for you I would say if your pain is more than a three and it's not going away after your first mile, like sometimes you have to like warm up that first mile, shake it all out, then I would rest. Anything that's really making you go, for me to say three, by the way, for me that's like painful. Like I try to just really keep my pain level in my head low, like it could always be worse. Your leg could be falling off. So really try to rest when you need it. If you're feeling like it's not going away, always call your doctor, like immediately. Let them know your marathon training and that you don't want to risk any injury. I will also say this too. If you wake up and the pain is immediate, I would definitely get seen. And the problem now is that if you make an appointment it's usually not for six weeks or some time so I would just right away always rule out those things the doctor and a physical therapist that something else could be going wrong because you don't want to push through it thinking 
oh it's not so bad after mile four and then find out later it was like a stress fracture or something and then puts you out for even longer you know what i mean okay so always prioritize what exercise or what workout is more important for right now with 89 days left my runs are more important than my strength even though my strength is very important to me so i do my run first i make sure i recover with 40 grams of carbohydrates in not including what i'm fueling with during my run 25 to 30 grams of protein after that meal immediately low fat and then that usually pumps back up my energy when I eat right away. And then I'll do my workout in the afternoon. Same idea, 30-ish grams of carbs before you lift. Protein, carbohydrates after is all about that pre and post workout fuel, I'm telling you. There's such a difference in strength from when I go into a workout not eating versus a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something like that that instant sugar kick. We do need sugar spikes in our blood, by the way. Right now it's all the rage to keep blood sugar stabilization. If you do not have diabetes, that is not something you need to be concerned with because our normal body response is a blood sugar spike when you give it sugar. And then what do you do with that? You gotta use that energy to lift the heaviest crap you can do safely and then each protein after. Okay, and the last thing I'll say, if you're doing your back-to-back -back runs, don't not fuel for the double negative, I know. Uh, don't skip your fueling for the small run just because it's small. You have to remember those miles add up. You need to be pumping up your muscles with a store of glycogen, sugar, in your muscles. We only have a certain amount in our muscles. And once that's gone, that's gone. Okay, so for the 5K, I'm doing a piglet onesie. For the 10K, my friend and I are tripping Dale. For the 10K, I'm Daisy. For the full, I'm just Doby. And my friend is telling me that she just saw me running. Probably talking to my phone, looking like a dork. Um, for springtime, I will probably just match the um, themes for Princess. I'm matching the themes as well. So Jasmine, Belle, Cinderella. Ooh, okay, I love this question. Um, love Ursula, I think she's the best, but I did really like the Maleficent. <laughs> I did really like the Maleficent movies. And yeah, I don't know the worst. I'll just say the worst in the sense that they creep me out, but that weird cat and fox from Pinocchio, get out of here. Okay, so a friend told me about it in like 2012, and I signed up in August for a January race, Tinkerbell 2013. They didn't even have 10Ks then. No challenges, nothing. 5K, half marathon, it would have never occurred to me to register for both so I just did the half loved it had no idea what it would be um, my ear is falling out um, since then oh boy I think I've done four Tinkerbell weekends I've done three Dumbo Double Dare weekends I've done three marathon weekends three princesses one virtual and one Avengers Avengers Half Marathon Weekend. Wow, that is a really good and really hard question to answer. I mean, I think honestly, when COVID hit and I had to figure out what the heck to do with my business, when all of it 100% was in person, I had no idea how to even use Zoom or FaceTime. I mean, I've used FaceTime, but not for that purpose. And I shifted everything and now I would say 60, 70% of my business is online, which I love because now I've reached way more people. And just remember being like 25 weeks pregnant, sobbing at my kitchen counter thinking, what the hell am I going to do? 
Okay, I just did my six miles. I'm definitely not feeling <clears throat> like all back to normal. So it's kind of a bummer. Tomorrow I'm supposed to do 15 and it's supposed to be my 27th half marathon, I think. It's a virtual, I was supposed to do it on Sunday. So I'll count that for tomorrow. Um, I only count my half marathons unless they're virtual or like in person. Um, because someone asked me that because I was like, oh wow, that would have been really nice. <laughs> or it would be cool if you could count all of your training runs over 13 as a half. But yeah, so I answered a bunch of questions on my Instagram. Um, a lot about like fueling and these back-to-back -back days. And my biggest advice for you is to fuel immediately after. So I'm gonna have some sourdough toast and eggs. That sounds really good. But yeah, just something where you can get a lot of carbs, some protein, and not a lot of fat. Not that fat's bad, but you just want to have a quick, that's my timer, a quick digestion with your fuel after you run. And you can have fats later on. But, um, <clears throat> Yeah, and I even need to think about what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I have not really thought about it. I had a pineapple goo this morning, that's all I've had, so I'm definitely eating right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I have um, some cliff blocks for tomorrow and I have three gels that I have on the counter waiting for me and they are all coffee themed. So they are, actually no, it's salted caramel, caramel macchiato and espresso, but I guess that's, yeah that's that's pretty coffee themed um but yeah I'm nervous I'm gonna definitely take like a NyQuil tonight <laughs> knock myself out and have like a nice NyQuil coma so we'll see how that goes okay this is everything for tomorrow for my 15 miler espresso love chocolate outrage salted caramel um a whole pack of strawberry blocks and then this strawberry lemonade scratch which i'm just going to put into the bladder of my water and i'm also bringing salt tabs i always have those in that little tiny pocket um but i'm saving my cold brew flavors for another run okay good morning i am going to run 15 miles in about an hour i'm going to teach my boot camp class have a little bit of coffee and my pb and j and then i'll be good to go okay so i already filled up the bladder in my water um last night and i kept it in the fridge so that's all good to go. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some scratch in the bladder. This is the strawberry lemonade. I'm gonna bring a whole pack of blocks. These are caffeine free. This is the strawberry one. I'm gonna bring espresso love, which has 40 milligrams of caffeine. So this will probably be in the middle of my run. Chocolate Outrage has 20 milligrams of coffee, uh, caffeine, so I'll start with this one. Um, and then Salted Caramel also has 20. So I feel like, besides strawberry, um, these flavors all go together really well. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So this is about 500 calories of nutrition. Um, so I think I've planned that out. It should be good to keep me going for a really long time. Remember, you don't wanna just like survive your long run. You wanna feel really good during and you want to feel really good after if you feel like you could keep going at the end of your long run then that is like the best feeling ever so keep yourself energized fuel appropriately hydrate appropriate appropriately and bring extra snacks because you just never know i wanted to show you my favorite way to make my pre-run peanut butter and jelly okay i've perfected it and it is so good okay so once you put your peanut butter and jelly in the center put it in a toaster oven just like that so it only gets crunchy on the outside okay so now it's out of the toaster oven and it's all crispy on the outside but not so much on the inside so it doesn't scratch the roof of your mouth anyway it's um a little tip i started doing before my long runs and now it just is like the best thing ever so <laughs> try it if you need an early breakfast before your long run hi guys good morning it's friday um First of all, it is a lot cooler outside than it will be later, or I thought it was going to be this morning. Um, so you will see me in a costume change uh, because I had my Merida uh, tank and sparkle skirt planned um, <clears throat> to do this today because this is my half marathon day, plus two. However, 
seems my cold has now turned into a sinus infection. I am in so much pain, like here and here, um, to the point where it's like throbbing. Uh, I have no idea if this is the dumbest thing I've ever done to keep going, but like I've said before, I don't really have a choice as to my schedule. So I'm either going to just be able to do this just fine once the blood gets flowing, hopefully, um, or I will walk this um, if it gets too bad, or I will just simply stop if it's really bad <clears throat> and try again tomorrow or scratch it and do 15 next week, 17 the week after that. Um, <clears throat> You know, you never have a perfect training cycle. So sometimes it's just the way it goes. Um, so I'm waiting to get a call from my doctor. Hopefully she can just prescribe me something. I doubt it. But um, anyway, so that's me today. Um, I have, what I'm gonna do, you don't see my water or my gels because I'm gonna do a three mile loop to like test how I'm feeling and then come back load it up. I have a friend who's going to come and do the last few miles with me anyway. So I'm not doing my normal long out and back. I'm going to just do loops kind of a couple miles around my house, which should be fine. I think that that's a safer bet anyway. Um, yeah, this is just going to be the length of distance that I'm going to look back and be like, oh, that really sucked, but you know, we'll get through it. Okay. I'll check in later. Okay. So I'm in between mile three and four taking my first gel. I'm not feeling great, um, but you know what? I think I'll be okay. I'm running very slow, very slow, like slower than I usually do on normal runs. So um, I'm just taking it very easy and only have, you know, 12-ish miles to go. I think I'll be okay. A friend is coming soon. If I have to walk, I'll walk. Okay, bye. So I did it. I did it with toilet paper. I'm gonna go see the doctor now to hopefully get antibiotics. And I wore a Merida themed outfit today and my friend came and ran the last seven miles and look what she Just wore. Finished. Miss you. Hair. <laughs> Dress. <laughs> see, that is real friendship. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. And what did you just go do right now? I finished uh, 0 0.07 <laughs> so I can make it to seven. <laughs> we gotta get that perfect mileage. Yeah. <laughs>